Let's go meet your new owner, shall we? Hey guys, oh my God, this is a video I have been waiting seven years to do. And I never thought I'd be able to do it and I'm so excited and I'm even more excited because we've got a sponsor. Yay! Thank you Destination Canada for sponsoring another one of my videos. The last video I did with Destination Canada will be linked below. You guys loved it. They really brought the emotion out in me so thanks for that guys. And they're doing it again. Destination Canada has a new series called Vacations of the Brave that's on Amazon Prime Video now for your viewing pleasure. I've watched it. I really enjoyed it. It follows the lives of inspiring Americans going over to Canada and bonding and challenging themselves and it's really really good. Unfortunately though I will say it does only play in America which I live here in America now. I'm originally Canadian so I was able to watch it but I'm so sorry to my fellow Canadians who still live there. You won't be able to watch it but hopefully hopefully soon. All right I don't know what I'm titling this but I assume the title gives away what the video is about, so you probably already know what's going down today. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you know this hair has gone through a whole lot of changes and transformations over the past six months of my life. I've been loving changing my hair up. I've been having so much fun. I'm having so much fun because for seven years, I couldn't change my hair. And I mean, obviously, technically, I could have if I really wanted to, which there was many times I did, but I stayed strong, I didn't, because I was dedicating myself to growing my hair to donate, and because my hair is naturally very, very, very dark brown, almost black, I wasn't able to dye it. A lot of companies will take dyed hair, but not bleached hair, and given my natural hair is so dark, I have to bleach it to dye it. So I wasn't able to do that, and I was just growing it, and growing it, and growing it, and dedicating so much time, and money, and effort, and love into making, growing like the healthiest, longest hair I could. And it got to a very long point, insert some, some clips here from the video where I cut my own hair off. Um, it was like to my butt. Uh, it was a hassle. I have extremely thick hair. So it was a lot to deal with and I loved it. Everybody loved my hair so much. It, it felt like my hair became my identity. Like I was my hair. It was the first thing people complimented me on. I mean, people would touch my hair. Like people would just, you know you hear about pregnant women, people go up and like touch their baby bump without asking? That was my hair. People would just go up and like stroke my hair. People would ask where I got my extensions from. You guys, admittedly, you have to admit to yourself, you were obsessed with my long hair. I know you were, because I read the comments on every video. It became a real challenge for me to actually bring myself to cut it, but I did. I got to the point where finally I just pushed my limits. And I know that, again, that sounds silly, like a lot of you are probably watching this and you're like, it's just hair, Molly, calm down, chill, girl. It wasn't that big of a deal, but for me, it honestly was. It was a real challenge and I just had to get to the point where I was like, Molly, you did this for somebody else. My first chop, I did 12 inches and I donated it to an amazing company called Hair We Share that makes wigs for people with cancer, with alopecia, and with any other medical related hair loss. They didn't know I was donating to them, but after I made the video and I donated to them, they were like flooded with hair donations and monetary donations from you guys, which is amazing and so unexpected. I was as shocked as they were. A lot of you were telling them that you were donating because of me. And so they were able to find me, they contacted me and asked, if I would be interested in actually hand delivering my wig to its recipient. Today is the day I'm having, I believe she's 12 years old, her name is Alexis and she has alopecia and she will be receiving the wig made out of my real human hair. It's here with me today, I have not touched it and I'm honestly kind of creeped out, I'm kind of scared, I'm kind of nervous. And I felt a lot of human hair wigs and it hasn't bothered me, but for some reason knowing this one's my hair freaks me out a little bit. But I think I'm ready to be reunited with my hair. Here she is! Oh, my hair was so soft. It's so soft! I did have such great hair. I felt a lot of wigs in my day. This is a nice wig. Basically, Alexis is gonna be coming over to my apartment I'm gonna be giving her this wig, and then we're gonna go to my hair, well, we're gonna have some lunch. Um, apparently she's a big fan of pizza, 
So we're doing pizza, pizza lunch, and I have a little gift for her. And then we're gonna go to my girl, Brisa, who's been a huge part of my hair transformation. You guys know her well. And she is going to cut this wig to suit Alexis's face and give Alexis the hairstyle that she wants. Oh, and I should mention that this wig is not all my hair. If you know anything about hair donations, to make a human hair wig, it takes multiple donations from multiple people, which is why I do highly encourage anybody um, who can to donate hair, uh, because it takes a lot of donations just to make one wig. Um, so there is more people who donated to this wig than just me. Shout out to them. Also, it's very expensive. Human hair wigs can be thousands of dollars. Each one of these hairs is hand placed. It's a lot of work. If you can donate hair or money, I encourage you to. I'll put a link below where you can find out more information about how we share and how to donate. Also, there'll be a bunch of information below about Destination Canada and Vacations of the Brave who are sponsoring this video. All right. Let's go meet your new owner, shall we? Okay, oh my God. So my mom just got the text from Alexis's mom that they are here. Alexis, I just found out, cause I told her mom, like, I want this day to be a surprise. I don't really want Alexis to know, but I thought she'd know, like I told her mom, like, just tell her she's gonna have like five minutes with me. I'll hand her the wig and I'll have to like run to an event or something. She doesn't even know anything. She doesn't know she's meeting me. She doesn't know she's getting a wig today. She thinks she's here to pick up some food with her mom. She knows absolutely nothing. And what's really cool is when the organization picked Alexis to be the recipient of the wig, they had no idea that she was a fan of mine. And then they told her she'd be getting a YouTuber's wig named Molly. And apparently she spent like 20 minutes running around the house screaming. So I'm so unbelievably excited to meet her and to give her the wig. Now that I know she has zero clue she's even getting the wig today. Oh my God. I feel like giving somebody my hair is like such a weird bonding experience. Being like, you will now wear the hair I grew for you and lived on my skull for seven years. It feels like I'm throwing a surprise party. I wonder if she'll recognize my mom because like my mom is going down to let them in. And if she's a subscriber and actually watches my videos, oh, I hear them. And she might recognize my mom. Okay. Here we go. Hello. Hello. starting to get over the shock a little bit, maybe. <laughs> um, and they were just telling me, her and her mom were telling me about your journey with alopecia. Yes. Can you guys kind of share with them a little bit? Yeah, um, so when she was three, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I know, it's, um, it's tough. I know, like, it's always hard for my mom to talk about it too, because I was diagnosed with my disease at four. Mm -hmm. um, so I know, I, 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 always, I feel a lot for the moms <laughs> because oh I know for me, sometimes I think it's easier to be the one going through it mm -hmm. than it is for like the people watching you. Um, so she was when she was three, um, she started getting losing spots in her hair and on her head. Um, took her to the doctor, diagnosed her with alopecia areata. Her hair would cover her spots, so you couldn't really see that she had that. Right. Um, and then at eleven, um, summertime, it just all oh, just started falling out. By August, it was all out. Was At that time, the school. huh? Oh, you were starting a new school. We mm -hmm. moved, and it was quite hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Took her to the doctor. Her dermatologist said, you know, it's a very chance that it would ever grow back. I found Children's Alopecia Project cat. She's stronger than me, <laughs> so so she's helped me out, and mm -hmm. Cap has helped us both out. 
Is this gonna be your first wig? Um, no, I had one last year, um, cause I didn't want anyone to know. So I had one last year from um, children's with hair loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The she grew out of the one. Right. I'm so excited that I get to give it to you today. Are you ready to see your wig? Mm -hmm. I'm really yeah. excited. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna go get the wig. Okay. okay. Did you both have your eyes closed? <laughs> She's very soft. I put a lot of love into her for many years. Here she is. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't it so soft? Yes. It is soft. Thank you. And it's so straight. Yeah. She's so shiny. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I think it's going to be perfect for you. Thank you. Oh, give me a hug. oh, I'm so happy I could give this to you. I put lots of love into this hair, and I said when I chopped it off, I wanted to, to leave my hair with like love uh -huh. and strength and courage, and I hope when you wear the hair, that's how you feel. You can feel that. Thank you. And I have more for you. Oh, I heard. You're a fan of pigs. <laughs> so, I found this pig for you. And I actually found it at Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. And I grew up going to Sick Kids Hospital since I was six months old. And I would always go to the gift shop. Every appointment I had, I would get to like buy a little thing from the gift shop. And I was there the other day mentoring some kids, mentoring some patients. And I went to the gift shop and I found this. <laughs> and I remembered your mom telling me how much you loved pigs. So, like, oh, I was like, friend. she has to come all the way from Toronto with me. So I flew on the uh, airplane with this pig. Even Gallup likes it. Gallup's like, is that for me? Big friend. squeaky toy? So we have a pig, and then I have one more thing. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. So this came with the wig. So there's this hairbrush to take care of the wig. And I heard it's pink, which is my favorite color. <laughs> pink and purple. There's these, which I'm assuming are take care of the wig. I don't know, I've only ever taken care of, <laughs> of my hair, so I'm not sure how to take care of a wig. I have this box for you, so I'll let you open it. Here, I'll, oh. I'll help take all of it. It's like, it's like Christmas Day no or problem. birthday. Gallup got his nose on it. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> Gallup, it's not your pig. Oh, it's a hat. It's my Molly Burke merch hat. The Mr. Whiskers hat from my merch line, and you can't order it anymore. Oh. So I had a few left. And oh, I was nice. Like, I'm oh, get there's a bee her. on it. Yeah. <laughs> Bath goodies. These like little, cute little pom pom slippers. They're Pink. so cute. Right? They're so stinking cute. I was like, Molly, you have to give them to Alexis. You can't keep them for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's a bee. Yeah, this is a little bee necklace. And then we have this is the hoodie from my merch line which will probably be like a dress on you because you're so stupid and <laughs> tiny and cute. So just a few little goodies to share with you. Thank you. Make this day a little special. And now our pizza's here. Yay. Yay. So we can go eat pizza. <laughs>
So how do you want the banks? Do you have pictures or do you want me to just kind of like make them short? I like size. Me too. Yeah, so it'll go shorter to longer. Yeah? And with wigs, I always go little by little because... There's no growing it back. You get it back, yeah. yeah. So I'll start like this and you just... How does it feel to be getting a haircut, Alexis? Nice, because I don't get them. Yeah. <laughs> you already came layered, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, uh, Destination Canada, for sponsoring this video. This has been so much fun. I'm, like, loving this. I was saying, Brisa, like, this is seven years of work that is, like, now invested in there. Becoming, like, this reality, and it's so fun. What do you think, Mom? Is it your favorite wig on her? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Do you know what? She doesn't grow any body hair. I hear that. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's that a depends. huge part. I always try to look on the bright side of my, my disability, and I think everybody should try to look on the bright side of whatever life's handed them. That is a bright side, my friends, at Alicia. No shaving your legs. Done. Because if you're going to wig out, you got to wig out in style. There you go. Okay, so you want curls, waves? Curls. Curls? Okay. Oh, Brisa does the best curls. Oh, thank you. Your baby's growing up, Mama. Oh, you're gonna make me cry again. <laughs> You're Did you do a catwalk for us? The big reveal. <laughs> it's cut, it's curled. <laughs> it's officially <laughs> your hair now, not mine yeah. anymore. <laughs> Go like this again. I gotta take a picture. Oh, Oh yeah, over here you can see better. Now it's officially been cut better. for you and styled for you, so it is no longer so. mine. It is definitely <laughs> yours now. I yes, mean, it's yours, so give us the hair back. Yes. <laughs> you want, want me to show you? Want me to give you some? Yes. 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 So you walk and then you keep looking. You spot. So you look at one spot and then you just. Reza, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's so cute. cute. Do you love it? Alright, I guess right. we're ready to go. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. Thanks, Brisa. So I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. I'll take nice you. to meet oh, you. Oh, wait, Brisa. Yes. Do you want to curl my hair? I do want to curl yeah. my hair. I thought you'd never ask. I want to look cute for my party. You know, you can do it's it. like you're my little sister and I like grew out of my hair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can have my hair now. <laughs> Can I be on here? Yeah. That's nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Bolly the Younger. <laughs> it's like baby Bolly. We're even like the same size if I took my wedges off, which I won't. Bye. I hope you love the hair. I do. Thank you. So it's later in the day. It's like evening time. Sun's setting. The day is done. And that was just such a special day. I had so much fun with Alexis and her mom. They are so sweet and so deserving of this wig. Um, and it just reminded me of the exact reason why I chose to do it in the first place. And yes, there's still times I miss my long hair. I'm not gonna lie about it. It was definitely challenging for me to even cut it in the first place, but it's so worth it and I'm so glad I did it and I definitely plan on in the future one day again donating my hair once I'm done having fun with bleach but this was just so special so thank you thank you to Destination Canada uh, for sponsoring this video Vacations of the Brave check it out linked below Amazon Prime Video watch it now thank you to Hair We Share for allowing me to have this really special moment with Alexis for making the wig out of my hair. I certainly could not have done that. And thank you to Alexis and her mom for being so special and uh, for being a part of this. This was just so much fun. I feel really grateful that I had the opportunity to do that and to see exactly where my hair is going and living. She's just, she's all grown up now. She's moved on to bigger and better things with Alexis, and I'm very proud of her. Yeah, that was so worth it. I highly encourage you to donate hair or funds to wig organizations. Definitely a worthwhile cause. And she's just such a beautiful, strong, sassy, smart, creative girl. And I'm so excited to watch her grow up because uh, she's a pretty special kid. So, all right. Thanks for being a part of this journey with me. 
and I'll see you next time.